So usually when you have a divergent plate boundary and you have two plates moving away from each other, that will usually partially melt the mantle and you'll have like, you the, you the, you the, <laughs> you the, stop rolling in the sand. You the, come. Is it, is you the, come, come. Is the sand big, is it you the, come, come. come. Black? Is it lava? Yes, yeah, so that's, I'll go on to that in a minute. <laughs> so basically what I was saying, is when it comes to igneous rocks, you get two types. You get extrusive igneous rocks and you get intrusive igneous rocks. So, aye, divergent plate boundaries, where two plates move away from each other, you have the opening of like the, you know, usually an ocean, like that creates the oceanic floor. And what this tends to do is like, um, creates basaltic lava. And basaltic lava or basaltic magma is very dark in color. Um, and this is what most of this stuff is behind us. That's basalt. And this stuff down here as well, see it probably been eroded away or like been dumped here like over geological time. Um, so when it's an no you da you da no when it's an extrusive igneous rock it erupts at the surface as lava or it can come down the hillside of like a volcano or whatever. When it's intrusive <laughs> it's going into the crust and intruding into the crust. And you get different types of like kind of intrusions that form, like that we kinda see some of them like along the way today like we actually see like the Kulin mountains like the the black Kulins are made up of like gabbro which is the same composition as basil it's just coarser grained so obviously when it's in the crust it has time to crystallize over geological time which means the crystals are a lot larger but when it erupts at the surface it's erupting and it's 1200 degrees celsius when it's coming out and it's spewing out the surface and this lava's hot but what happens to it is because it's like um it hits the surface, it, it hits cold air, it cools very quickly. And that's why when you look at basil, it's very fine grained. You can't really see any of the crystals in it. Very, very fine grained, and that's how you know it's a lava. Now, some lavas have bubbles in them, some lavas have vesicles in them, They're, and sometimes these vesicles can fill up with other minerals. And on sky, you get quite a lot of this, and this is amygdaloidal basil. So that's got like little, you know, the, the white minerals have filled the cavities, have filled the vesicles up, and it also still has some empty cavities. But you can see by the ground mass that this is black, it's dark. It's a basic lava, it's basalt. So it's basaltic in composition, and it's what came out of that volcano. Now, when it crystallizes in the crust, it forms a gabbro. And then if it crystallizes in a smaller, like, intrusion, such as a sill, which would be squeezing between, you know, layers of sandstone, siltstone, and mudstone, so this is lava that's kind of intruded through in between these two layers and then it's went up this way forming a dike like those two are different um, you da those two are like different other different kinds of intrusions so this is a sill when it's horizontal and then it's a dike when it's vertical but these behind us are lavas that just spewed out on top of your sedimentary rocks this is like a basic diagram not every volcano looks like this <laughs> but that kind of gives you an indication of like what gabbro and basalt is